you know, for, you know, Inam the Kano as well. Mr. Kano is a British national who ordinarily resides in UK with his wife and children, but on the 19th day of June 2021, uh, you know, Inam the Kano was adopted from the airport in Nairobi, Kenya, detained, touched off about around 10 days in Kenya. He was then subjected to extradition from Kenya to Nigeria to face criminal persecution. Remember that the, you know, the court in Nigeria has found him not guilty, all charges thrown away, but the federal government has still not yet abide by his own law and his own court. Mm -hmm. Do you think that maybe uh, Tinubu, if he is uh, sworn in, will pull a fast one? Maybe something to say that, you know what, for us to have the peace of mind in that particular area and then release him, maybe a Trump card. Well, well uh, should, uh, you know, uh, Buhari, you know, might still be able to do something we don't know. You know, maybe Buhari might be able to look into the case of Inam the Kano before his, uh, you know, his tenure expired, you know, in the next few months, May 29, if all goes as planned. But the new government coming, which is Bola Tinobu, will have a lot to deal with. It's not just going to be dealing with Inam the Kano. It's going to be dealing with a lot of other issues, the insecurity, the economy. It's going to have to deal with the Yoruba nation, you know, those that are agitating, you know, Professor Banja Kintoe leading the Yoruba nation struggle. It's going to have to deal with, you know, the attack on, in, you know, Sunday Bowo's house on, on the third of, um, uh, on the 1st of July 2021 as well, when he was almost assassinated, you know, in his premises, even though the, you know, damages has been done to his property, but the court has not yet paid those charges because the federal government is challenging it. So the new government has a lot on its table. Uh, the economy, the jobs, uh, you know, Nigerians uh, are becoming more concerned. And as the also more Nigerians are trying to find their way out. And as you're trying to find your way out, you might end up in another country where you become a victim, as we've seen. But the case of Inam the Kano today uh, is now one case that is now being uh, you know highlighted. Remember that last year, November, the High Court here in the United Kingdom considered argument on the United Kingdom in action on the brazen and the violent extraordinary rendition of a British citizen. Should we be concerned, those of us that are living in UK, that should our children travel uh, you know abroad and they are found for whatever reason, whether in the country or another country looking for them, then and they're kept in there, taken away, and nothing is done. So the case of Inam Dekano is just like a case study that will be studied in the near future. Well, that's your British citizenship actually work for you. Inam Dekano doesn't seem to experience that. But what do you think, as you may say, we want to know your take on that. But listen, it's already UK. It is the Wednesday edition of the morning show. Let's go back to Yomi 